Hey, 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 YT family, what is going on? It's your boy, D. <sighs> Today's the day. I started recording this video at 12.02 a.m. on purpose. It is Bennett's birthday. A Bennett turns two years old today. This is Bennett's binder. This is Bennett's um, part of his collection. He's got a smaller binder that I'm selling slowly, and he's got a Lost Art binder and other stuff, but this is the heavy hitter. Um, inside this single dual portfolio, and what I'm also going to call a page 21, uh, this binder has amassed a total, this is TCG lowest and or eBay um, listed sales, a total combined TCG lowest slash eBay $32,300 in these 181 slots. So this, this page 21 has one card on it, so we're looking at $32,300, give or take. Obviously, when you go to sell it, you take some off of that, but this is the value of all listed cards at this time. So, I'm using TCG Player because one, that is the market, and two, I have officially launched the TCG store I've been talking about for weeks. D Dogs Deals TCG. D D A W G S D E A L Z TCG. Um. I listed it Wednesday afternoon. It's now Friday morning, so we're talking uh, not quite two full days yet, and uh, we're you know we're talking well, probably 30, 35 sales already. Um, you know, somewhere up above five, five hundred fifty bucks already um, in sales, and they've all been sent out. I've got six left to send out actually that came in between waiting to record this video and getting my last one prepped. So, head on over there, check it out. I think there's a Time Wizard Metal Raiders, there's a Summon Skull Metal Raiders. Um, you know, there's some, there's some cool, some cool stuff that I've got on my, in my store still. I'm um, gonna be listing some other stuff as well. Um, you guys know I'm not gonna list anything from the binder. But, listen, this, this video is gonna be so drip. Summon Skull's rocking the Millennium items. That, that's how dope this is. Say hello, Summon Skull. Rawr. Um, but yeah, so Summon Skull's rocking the drip. Um, has to. Has to rock the drip. We're gonna put him off in the corner with his bling bling. Um, don't worry, I didn't forget about you guys for the bling bling though. You guys know the drill though. Like, comment, subscribe. Your comment, what was your favorite card in this binder? Simple enough, just I want one. If you can't name one, list a couple, that's fine. It's more so about the comment. But if you like, comment, subscribe. The giveaway for this video, I will be giving away one sealed booster box of Genesis Impact. For this video, I upped the ante on the giveaway. Um, this is the only uh, relatively recent booster I have sealed. Um, right now, uh, I was talking with my wife, and she said giving away an entire booster box would be the perfect thing to do for this video. So, uh, one of the bigger giveaways I've done in the video, um, I'm not even doing a like requirement, like 50 or 100, I'm not doing that. Whoever wins it, wins it, and they will have the booster box shipped to their house. So, um, that being said, I'll pay international shipping, whatever, and I'll get it out. So let's just, let's get into it guys. Um, the camera quality is gonna be iffy because I'm not gonna move the binder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera. So just bear with me while we rock through this. And I wanna get started because this is gonna be awesome. I got my million puzzle hat, the drips on someone's skull. I'm rocking the Ugster for this video. Uh, you guys know I'm a total simp for Legacy. Um, that being said, I'm also trying to diversify my collection a little bit, so, alright, here we go. Let's get started. This is Bennett's 30,000 plus, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! binder. Happy second birthday, buddy. Alright, page one. We have a first edition, oh, that's what I was, I was worried about. First edition, Change of Heart, Metal Raiders. 
first edition Magic Ruler Delinquent Duo, first edition LOB Dark Hole, first edition LOD Creature Swap, first edition Magic Ruler Snatch Steel. Then we have a first edition Lightning Storm, two first edition Magic Card Premature Burials, first edition Heavy Storm. So you've got uh, Ignition Assault, you've got Pharaoh Servant, Pharaoh Servant, and you've got Metal Raiders. Next page, you have an Axe of Despair, first edition MRL. You have my weird Cosmo Town screw up misprint. First edition Charge of the Light Brigade, Duelist Genesis. Gogeta, thanks for this, buddy. First edition Secret Rare, Dark Arm Dragon. First edition Starter Deck Joey, Red Eyes B. First edition LOD, Tyrant Dragon. You have Forbidden Droplet. Two Pot of Prosperities. Nadir Servant. Triple Tactics Talent. First LON Magic Cylinder. Two FMR Metal Morphs. First Secret uh, Pharaoh Servant Imperial Order. First MRL Spellbinding Circle. First LOB Trap Hole. Mystic Swordsman Level 4. First Ultimate. Then we have a triple of LOB Blue Eyes Unlimited. Then we have an SDK Unlim. We have an SDK Heavy Play first. I would call it Heavy to Mod, but probably leaning more towards Heavy to be, be, real, be real with you. But first edition nonetheless. Uh, foil Bleed SDK. SDK. Some SDKs. These are only fillers till I can fill them with cooler blue eyes. Um, once I get some cooler blue eyes, these ones are falling out. I'm not really a fan of the Unlimiteds being so pricey. So, even though they're, they're valuable, I, they're not as valuable. Um, so I'm going to pull them out and put some different ones in here. I'm looking to get some YAPs, maybe some Duelist League ones. Um, then we have a BPT-09 blue eyes. BPT-09 blue eyes. One of them is a foil bleed where the whole card is just shimmering. Um, Serpent Knight is first edition MRL. Then you have a BPT Dark Magician Limited. Light Play first edition Dark Magician starter deck Yugi. And then you have a BPT. You have two BPTs flanking the first from the deck. Then you have an, a Summon Skull MRD EN. Um, the MRD EN is from Forbidden. It's from the Forbidden Legacy Blister uh, Special Edition bot, uh, set, or from the Master Collection. Those are the two Metal Raiders packs that were printed with EN. So it's kind of a rare Unlimited Summon Skull because it only came from one of those two. Um, then you have two BPT Summon Skulls flanking that. Two Cosmo Queens from the McDonald's pack, Millennium Shield from the McDonald's pack. Then you have the two Elemental Hero Collection Mercinatrix flanking Flame Wingman. What a player. One dude, two chicks, gotta love it. Um, then you have first edition Starter Deck Joey playset. You have an LOB Unlim Blue uh, Red Eyes. You have a BPT Red Eyes. This is a WP11 uh, Giant Red Sea Snake. So that's a World Championship Promo 2011. Then we have two Divine Arsenal AA Zeus's. We have an Ulti Lila Lightsworn Sorceress, first edition. We have a Blue Eyes YAP. We have Blue Eyes or er, Dark Magician PCY. Dual Terminal 6 Dark Magician Girl. Cybernetic Magician, Ulti First. Collector Rare, Live Twin, Kisa Kill. Let me see if I can do something. I really like the way the Collector Rares actually shine, so bear with me while I try this and just see what happens. I'm gonna flip on the second light. See if that actually helps with their, their shininess a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. So the, collect, the Collector Rare shines a little bit, which is really cool. I like that. Um, first Edition, LOB, Mystical Elf, you guys know. Um, Solemn. Shout out to Solemn. Um, the moment he said Mystical Elf was a PSA 10, sold for 4K. Or, it sold for a bunch. I don't remember the exact number, but it was huge. 
I went out and picked up a first edition L.O.B. Miss Telof just to have her. Um, one of the original uh, simps prior Dark Magician Girl. There weren't very many, so she was probably it from the anime. Uh, first edition, Ferrocera Buster Blader. This is a light play, first edition, MRL, Blue Eyes Tune, Near Mint, Unlimited MRL, Blue Eyes Tune, so they're both Magic Ruler. Uh, then you've got a Tin Dark Magician Girl, another BPT Red Eyes, LOB, Unlim, Dark Magician. This is a light play, LOB, dark, uh, Blue Eyes, Tin, Black Skull Dragon, first edition, LON, Masked Beast. Then you've got a, a GBI playset of the gods. This is where it gets kind of cool for me. So, uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal is unlimited, but it's Ghost. Utopia Ray, first edition Ghost. Uh, Hero Champion Excalibur, first. My babies. These are these are my crown jewel. So I'm gonna turn that off for this. My triple playset of the Rainbow Dragon misprint. <clears throat> so. Uh, the cheapest one on TCG Player right now is at near mint is ten fifty, so one thousand and fifty dollars. Um, sitting pretty good. I bought those for thirty dollars thirteen years ago, and I've held them since. Uh, the Wing Dragon of Ra goes first. The Unlimited is actually out now, so that's why I'm saying first edition. Um, Power Tool Dragon first edition. Star Eater is unlimited, but I had it already before I went out and tried getting it. So uh, let's go over here. We have a second ghost. Ra, first edition. Starlight Rare Alpha, Starlight Rare Marin sea, Seahorse. Two Astral Utopias, Flanking a Yuria, the Water Charmer, Starlight. Starlight Phantom Torn Scales, um, which Lauren actually pulled that one. Then we have Collector Rare Black Luster Soldier, first edition. And then the Starlight Pot of Prosperity, pulled on the channel. You guys know if you've seen the video. We have a second GBI uh, God Set, a YMA Slifer, DOD Ra, a third GBI uh, Ra. I'm looking to eventually replace this third one with a secret version, prismatic version. Um, play set, first edition of Tour Guide. Uh, when, <laughs> when Synchro Materials and Xyz Summoning was a thing, I wasn't playing during Xyz, but... Um, she was, she was one of the characters where it was like, all right, he's a pretty cool card. So, uh, nostalgia for me, I didn't really follow, you know, all that. I think it was, she was, uh, better for XC summoning, but I know, uh, she came out in a synchro, uh, set, Extreme Victory. So, uh, play set of LOB Unlimited Exodia Head. <clears throat> Secret, Unlim, uh, Judgment, uh, Light of Destruction, Judgment Dragon, Secret, Unlim, Storm of Rag, Storm of Ragnarok, Max C. This is a DR2 Ryu Koki. LOD first, Air Knight Parashoth. MFC first, Tribe Infecting Virus. LON first, Dark Necrofear. Uh, Bakura, my, my guy. The Millennium Ring. Boom, it's calling you Dark Necrofear. Okay, let's keep going. Injection Fairy Lily first. That is my bay. That is my number one simp waifu card. Um, you know, a lot of history you guys know if you've been on the channel long enough. Wifey's a, wifey's a nurse, so uh, almost a no-brainer to make Injection Fairy Lily my, my number one simp, so. Judgment Dragon is first from uh, Light of Destruction. Time Wizard is first from Metal Raiders. Light Play first, MFC Dark Magician Girl. Near Mint Unlimited MFC Dark Magician Girl. This is moderate to heavy play first edition Dark Magician Girl. But this was more so about just obtaining the playset. So, anyways, there is my of if you're talking female original dual monsters Yu-Gi-Oh, she's your holy grail for female and i'm just happy to have even have three mfc ones so you guys saw some dark magician girls earlier huge simp for her she's my second favorite so 
Then you've got a first edition IOC Dark Demok, another first Pharaoh Servant Buster Blader, and then you have a first edition Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. Uh, Chamber Dragon Maid has been going up. I'm starting to really simp for her too. Uh, huge, huge Dragon Maid fan. Uh, I don't, I don't play them, but I just, I think they're a really cool archetype. Um, this is just a rare. It's the only non, it's the only rare in this thing, but it's a limited edition uh, WCPP obese marmot of nefariousness. The fact that it's an obese marmot calls out to me as a human. So. Um, access code talker, Metal Raiders first Karibo, any DM player or, you know, lover has to have a Karibo. That's just how it goes. Dark Ruler Hades, first edition, Lava Golem Secret, first edition. I'm working on getting a first edition Yada, but for now, the Secret Unlimited will work. Paired up with two more secret, uh, IOC Chaos Emperor Dragons. Um, those two complete the playset. <clears throat> I just wanted this one to be, I mean, that, that right there is a pretty expensive page. So, you guys can figure that one out, but it's pretty expensive. Um, Dark Sage, that's DOD. Two Secret, Pharaoh Servant Jinzos. Royal Firestorm Guards. Uh, Lich King, First Edition, Force of the Breaker. Ash Blossom is Maximum Crisis Unlimited. Corrected artwork, MFC Dark Paladin. Double misprint, Guy of the Dragon Champion, LOB. Um, gold foil, ultra rare name. Thank you, Zach, for this card. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, so the foil is bleeding. The, the, the foil is uh, going the wrong direction. And it's got the ultra name. So whether you want to call the... Whether you want to call the foil going the wrong way of misprint or not, that's up to you. Um, I'm classifying it as that because other people do as well. Um, and then I have a moderate to heavy play first edition Dark Paladin. Um, I will eventually be replacing this with a near mint copy at some point. But I was able to pick this one up for like 40 bucks and I know it's worth more than that. So, um, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman is the Elemental Hero Collection. This is an ultra first Flame Wingman. From the Lost Millennium. Uh, sadly, this is the Silver Stamp Flame Wingman Ultimate Rare. Um, it's still in here though because you can you can buy it on eBay for like 75 bucks, and there's a lot of sales for it. So um, it still holds a little value, but I will be replacing it with a Gold Stamp eventually. Um, two Dragoons. Anybody following the meta knows Dragoons just going ham right now. He's absolutely blowing it up. Name Shift, Secret Rare, uh, Elemental Hero Gaia. Secret First, Tactical Evolution, Magma Neos. Come on, can we focus in? There we go. Elemental Hero Wild Wingman, First Edition, Ultimate Rare. Uh, this was held for the longest time, as well as uh, my Rainbow Dragon misprints. But this is my Ulti First Tempest from EEN. I'm going to try and do a little... Let's do it like that. There we go. So that's my first edition Elemental Hero Tempest from EEN Ultimate Rare. Tur uh, tur uh, TUL1 Judgment Dragon. Horse the Black Flame Dragon level 4 Ultimate Rare first. Horse the Black Flame level 6 Unlimited Ultimate Rare. DD Crow is Ultimate first from, uh, from Stone. Strike of Neos. Then I have two ulti first monarchs, Mobius and Reza. Uh, Dekoichi, the battle chanted locomotive. I have a fir un unlimited and a first. Um, the unlimited has a slight foil shift. Uh, some people like that. You know, I really didn't either. I just wanted two copies. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon is ulti first. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon is ulti first. Toon World is uh, first edition. Zodiac Whiptail is OP5. Herald of Orange Light is OP7. Stratos is OP9. Ultimate Rare. The Abyss Dwellers are OP13. Uh, those are all Ultimate Rare. And then to, on the last page, we do have the 
Alti Book of Moons from OP13. Or, yep, and then two Super Poly OT14s, two Ultimate Rare uh, OP14 Toon Kingdoms, two Nibiru Ultimate Rares, and a Kriston Helki Fibrex Ultimate Rare. Um, just so you guys know, I haven't actually updated the binder and pulled out one of the Exodia heads yet. Um, I'm working on... I need to do a little bit of updating, but I'm going to pull out the ulti head because I do have an Armed Dragon level 10 Ultimate Rare that I just need to get in there. So I just haven't done it yet. So you add like $9 to the value when you take out the Exodia head. But, and then page 21, the honorary page 21 will go to Guardian Angel Joan, blue foil. I'm not taking her out of the top floor so you guys get the point. This is the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! at home sweepstakes Guardian Angel Joan. Um, there are only 300 of these printed. So, um, I mean, what do you want me to say about this? There's 300 of them, and they're selling anywhere from, you know, 1,700 to 3,000, and it's whatever you want to list it at is what it's worth. Um, you know, some people are buying it at a price, and that might be fine, but I have no intention of selling it. So, you know, but anyways, Guardian Angel Joan, you know, this is my, one of my grails in the collection just because, you know, it's such a, you know, unique card. But anyways, guys, that was it. That is Bennett's 181 card duelist portfolio that has eclipsed $32,000. So with that being said, remember, the giveaway, a booster box of Genesis Impact. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Your favorite card or cards from this video. Um, if, and you know what I would love? A comment wishing Bennett a happy birthday. That would be, that'd be cool as well. Add that into your comment, um, and I can show him this one day. So, anyways, that's the plan, guys. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching the video. 30K in this binder. You guys have been a strong driving force in me continuing to do these types of videos. So, um, I wanted to make the announcement about the TCG Player Store. I wanted to announce the Booster Box giveaway. I wanted to do this video on Bennett's birthday, his second birthday. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Um, Lauren, she sends her thanks as well. Uh, the twins are good. Um, we do know, <laughs> and I'll, I'll say this because I'm pretty proud. Um, the ultrasound tech said today to my wife, well, you're definitely having a boy. She could, she could tell the gender of one of the boys at 15 weeks definitively. So... Um, we know one is a boy. We, we are still uncertain what gender number two is, but we're working on it. So uh, that will be coming up in a later video. Oh, so anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Get entered in the giveaway for the booster box. And of course, as usual, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, man. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the type to open doors. The type to put out chairs. Tell you how good you look and how beautiful is your hair. hair.